Today we're going to be looking at uh, standard deviation and uh, variance and uh, how we measure variation in a data set. So standard deviation is a measure of how far numbers in a data set deviate from the mean. In the previous lesson you looked at range and interquartile range. Those are also measures of variation. Uh, a measure of variation describes how the data and the data set are spread out. Uh, variance and standard deviation are measures showing how much data values deviate from the mean. We use the Greek letter sigma for standard deviation. And sigma squared is the variance. So literally we just square the standard deviation to get the variance. Here's some concepts for finding variance and standard deviation. What we need is we find the mean or x bar of the n values in the data set. We find the difference between each of those values and the mean. We square each difference and then we find the average or mean of those squares. That gives us the variance and here's what that formula looks like. And then we take the root square root of that variance. That's our standard deviation. I can show you how to do that by hand here. So we've got a pretty small list of data. Uh, 6.9, 8.7, 7.6, 4.8, and 9.0. So we could find the mean of those here, add them up, divide by 5, we get 7.4 for the mean. Take each of those data points, we've got our mean, we take each of those points minus the mean, we get those differences, we then square those differences, find the total of those differences, so 11.30, we find the average of that uh, and we get 2.26 so that's our variance we score it that we get 1.5 now we're not really going to ask you to do that by hand but I do want to show you what that looks like and so you can see so you can feel free to pause and look that over or even rewatch this uh, segment to again kind of get an understanding of where standard deviation and variance come from here is a set of data that displays the number of US hurricane strikes by decade from 1851 to 2000 uh, and we want to find the mean and standard deviation for the data set. So rather than doing this by hand, what we'll do is we'll use the um, stat uh, function on the graphing calculator. So you go to stat and then edit and you enter in the data into list one. Now we don't need the decade numbers, just the number of strikes. So you'll enter in that data and again you can feel free to pause and do that. Once you do that, you go to stat and then over to calculate and you pick the one variable stats option. Then this screen should show up. Uh, if you do have the newer operating system, uh, make sure that you, again, are uh, kind of plugging in the information, then you should be able to just go down to calculate at the bottom and, and it should come up. Um, and since we're using list one, it shouldn't get too complicated. If you have questions on this, uh, you know, let's ask your teacher and they can help. Once we get here, we can see the uh, mean. It's the x with the bar on top, so 17.6 for the mean. Standard deviation, the sigma x, 3.517. You can run that. Notice this little arrow. You can scroll down, and if you haven't already been using it to find the uh, uh, quartiles and the median, uh, then that's down there as well. A common question to ask is within how many standard deviations from the mean do all of the values fall? So one thing we can do is we could uh, make a number line, plot all of the different data values. There's our uh, x's over our number line. You can plot the mean, 17.6, and the standard deviation, again, we can round to about 3.5 for our purposes here. So if we look at this, um, from about 14.1 to 21.1, that's within one standard deviation. So one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean. If we go out another standard deviation, so another 3.5, we get down to 10.6 and up to 24.6. So that is uh, within uh, two standard deviations of our mean. So either you know, two above or two below. Um, and that covers all of our data points. It looks like our maximum is 24 and a minimum was 12. So all of the data are within two standard deviations of the mean. And like I said, pretty uh, regular sort of question to have for this type of thing. 
All right, so for this problem, we want to find both the mean and the standard deviation. Uh, one thing to note here is that the uh, year numbers we don't need for our data. So you'll just enter in the number of hurricanes as your list one, uh, and then you'll run the one variable statistics on that. When you do, you'll get a mean of about 7.27 and a standard deviation of about 3.21. Um, I note the maximum and minimum here uh, because we'll use that in the second part of this question, which is wondering within how many standard deviations of the mean do all of the values fall. So I have my number line here with the mean right in the middle, so 7.27, and then uh, we go up and down one standard deviation, so we get to 10.48 and 4.06, and that's just from adding and subtracting 3.21. If we go up and down two standard deviations, we're at 13.69 and 0 0.85. Now that does cover the minimum, but we haven't covered the maximum yet. So we go out one more standard deviation, we get up to 16.9 and down to negative 2.36. So in this case, even though we cover the minimum in two standard deviations, it takes three standard deviations to cover the maximum. So the answer then for this one would be within three standard deviations of the mean. That's where all of the data fall. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, make sure you let me know.